Welcome back to Let's Talk Temple. Today we continue our pavement management video series. Last episode we touched on the basics, street ratings. Today we're diving into one of three repair methods. It's the cheapest, it's the fastest, it's crack sealing. There's a lot of factors that make, make streets crack. Weather, uh, drought, uh, age, and what you do is, is that creates an opening in the asphalt that allows moisture to get through to the subgrade underneath and will cause it to break down. Living in Texas, we often hope for rain and we often hope for rain to stop. Weather plays a huge role on our streets. Conditions in Texas are different. You have drought and you have heavy parts of rain and that makes those soils underneath constantly move. They expand and contract. They really move with the weather. So we try to keep as much of that from getting underneath the road as we can. Our crew's top priority is to do everything they can to stop the moisture from getting underneath. Things like crack sealing and pothole repair are gonna keep moisture and, and other, other wet conditions out from under the street, which is what really makes it age poorly and start to fail. That's where crack sealing comes in. And that will add life to the pavement because it allows, it keeps that moisture from getting underneath that road to make it decompose. Sealing is the process of placing an adhesive sealant into cracks on the pavement surface. We use uh, asphalt emulsion. It's a really thick oil looking substance. It is put on hot, uh, 350 to 400 degrees. Uh, it is. It comes to a machine, trailer mounted machine that we pull and then you have a wand that you have one, one employee putting it on the crack and you have another employee come up behind it with a squeegee off and then there's a short periodic drying time and then you, you, they're watching that as they go and they make sure they get that crack filled and you're not seeing any air, any openings, and that seals it. But sometimes it's not just one and done. Things like traffic, weather, age, and soil conditions play a huge role on that sealant. You don't just crack seal the street one time and it stops everything. You still have that dry summer that makes that soil underneath get dry and it shrinks and that, that cracking will come up and then you gotta stop the moisture from getting down in there. Although it's the fastest repair method, the time it takes to crack seal a road depends on the length of that road. You're only moving at a couple miles an hour, so it, it is a lengthy process. Crack sealing is paid for by the city's operations and maintenance budget. We have maintenance like crack sealing, uh, pothole repairs, and that's what we'll call a slurry seal or a microsurface, that those are, are kind of our day-to-day -day maintenance items. Those streets that are more along the lines of they need some daily touch-up maintenance. We can repair out of an operating budget and those streets typically, uh, you don't have to plan out as far ahead. They don't require as much upfront design work and we can get to those streets a lot quicker. So what types of streets are the best candidates for crack sealing? You wouldn't go crack seal a D-rated street. You wouldn't go crack seal an F-rated street. You really crack seal those A-Bs and sometimes C's if you can salvage it. Because taking care of a street now ensures that street lives a longer life. The longer you leave a street open with cracks or potholes or other things, it allows water to get into the street and then that causes it to, to have major failures and start to, to alligator crack or have some other form of uh, a failure that's going to cost a lot more money than, uh, than if you just address those issues early on and make sure you stay on top of it. All to maintain the higher rated road from degrading. In years one through 10 in a street's life, we do things like a slurry seal, a microsurface. We do a lot of crack sealing and pothole repair early in the life of a street so that as it gets older and it ages, it's gonna age better. Up next in our pavement management video series, we will explore slurry seal and the most common misconceptions.